According to WHO estimates, there are more than 100 million disabled people globally. I want to become a professional in IT sector and uh, I want to become a model to other people. Most people with disabilities bring in an amazing amount of determination and positive attitude. I'd like to introduce about Lanarkshire Disability. We are an organisation based in the UK and globally we work through our global alliance partners in 54 countries and over 250 organisations. The first SI home outside UK was established in India in Mumbai and there are today 24 SI homes in India. We formed an autonomous uh, trust called the Cheshire Disability Trust which will entirely be the vehicle for the movement of livelihood activity in India. We have two major initiatives uh, that go on at uh, Cheshire Disability Trust. One is in uh, wage employment, the other is in self-employment. Cheshire Disability Trust empowers the disabled by assessing, training and then helping them get jobs in leading companies. CDT conducts regular job fairs where employers and prospective employees come together on a common platform. The active involvement of volunteers too helps the disabled overcome their fears and attend interviews comfortably. On the other hand, CDT works closely with corporates to sensitize them to equal opportunity initiatives. CDT works closely with NASCOM, CII, FICCI and other industry bodies to create more opportunities for the disabled. The response to these initiatives has been very encouraging. Uh, NASCOM Foundation has an accessibility initiative uh, which works in three major strategies. One is employment second is advocacy, the third being assistive technology. When they come to us, the first thing we are going to do is having a counselling with them and we try to understand what are their concerns. We do conduct a lot of motivational sessions, uh, not only by volunteers, it's also by the role models themselves. Persons with disabilities are trained according to their need. Ideal jobs for the disabled are identified through job studies and job mapping at various corporates to understand the job requirements and suitability of the disabled candidates. While the candidates are prepared for the challenges of the real world, Cheshire Disability Trust sensitizes employers on integration at both pre- and post-placement levels. Ample evidence of the effects of this is voiced by employers who have employed these disabled candidates. I would thank CDT for uh, enabling us procure or recruit such kind of people who are special. Thanks to the IT and IT enabled industry, the disabled are more and more accepted in the workplace. But this solution is possible only in urban areas where these companies are located. While it is comparatively easy to be productive in urban areas, it is a different story altogether in the vast rural areas of India. It poses major challenges. So we are offering the entrepreneurship development programs and we are giving a capacity development and after we are giving a suggestions and options to select a suitable business for them. Cheshire Disability Trust has already touched the lives of more than 1,400 disabled people. It is fast spreading its network of livelihood resource centers across India, bringing about a positive change in the way disabled people are treated. Of course, many aware corporates too are carrying forward this idea with proactive initiatives of their own. There are many professions which are open people with uh, disabilities if provision, technical provisions or training is provided. Simple changes in attitude and infrastructure 
will go a long way to create inclusive workplaces that are friendly and accessible to all. CDT is also actively seeking contributions from corporates, organizations and individuals to meet its goal of livelihoods for persons with disability. As we become more and more civilized, it becomes imperative that we create a more inclusive society by creating equal opportunities for all. This is a dream envisioned by Sir Leonard Cheshire, a highly decorated World War II pilot with the Royal Air Force who founded the very first Cheshire home in the United Kingdom to help the disabled. As for ourselves individually, I think we should be self-critical. And what I think is most important of all is to be quite sure that there's no self-seeking in ourselves. Please visit www.cheshiredisability.org